in a new video shared on X. Hey Optimus, do you know where I can get a Coke? Sorry, I don't have real-time info, but I can take you to the kitchen if you want to check for a Coke there. Tesla showcased Optimus Gen 4's ability to answer questions thanks to AI Grok, surprising viewers. Elon Musk personally introduced the new version to Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff, providing a first look at the upcoming technology. So, what makes Optimus Gen 4 special compared to previous generations? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How does the Gen 4 joint design make the robot more flexible and durable? In the transition from the early white prototype of Optimus to the new Optimus Gen 4, the real breakthrough does not only lie in the overall appearance, but is deeply rooted in the joints, the core elements that determine aesthetics, durability, and performance. If the old version was designed by Tesla as an open skeleton to serve research and testing, then Gen 4 has truly stepped into the stage of commercialization, where every joint is not only better protected, but also delivers a more natural, approachable, and premium feel. The shoulder and arm joints stand out as one of the most significant improvements. In the white prototype, all bearings, shafts, and servo motors were exposed, making them vulnerable to dust and limiting their lifespan to just about 5,000 to 7,000 hours of continuous operation before requiring maintenance. In Genesis 4, Tesla covered the shoulders with lightweight composite shells capable of withstanding impact forces of 15 to 20 megapascals. This made the robot more durable while reducing its overall weight to below 55 kilograms. Thanks to this protection, arm movements have been optimized, allowing up to 200,000 flexion extension cycles without component replacement, an essential upgrade given that Optimus is expected to work continuously in factory environments. The elbow and wrist joints have also undergone a thorough redesign. Previously, exposed cables and mini pistons were prone to collecting metallic dust and oil, which could reduce servo efficiency by up to 10% after only a few weeks of 8-hour daily shifts. Gen 4 solves this by fully enclosing the joints while also shrinking the wrist diameter to just about 70 millimeters, down from over 100 millimeters in the old version. This not only makes the hands more agile, but also significantly increases the precision of gripping motions. Optimus can now perform tasks with a positional error margin under 2 mm, on par with specialized industrial robots from ABB and KUKA. The hip and waist joints considered the robot's center of force have also been reinforced. The earlier prototype exposed bolts and support rods that bore loads unevenly, resulting in only about 80% stability on smooth floors. With Gen 4's rounded shells and rebalanced weight distribution, stability now exceeds 95%, enabling the robot to walk on surfaces sloped up to 10 degrees without falling. This is a major leap forward, since in industrial settings, a robot falling over can cause damages worth tens of thousands of dollars due to equipment breakage or production downtime. The knee joints in Generation 4 have been upgraded to drastically improve durability. The old design, with exposed pistons, supported only about 100,000 bending cycles. In contrast, the new sealed design has been tested internally to endure over 300,000 bends. This translates to three to five years of average factory operation before knee replacement is needed, cutting maintenance costs by at least 40% compared to the prototype. Such an advantage becomes decisive if Tesla plans to deploy thousands of Optimus units on automated production lines. The ankle and foot joints highlight Tesla's clear commercial intent. The earlier model used flat feet with a contact area of just about 120 square centimeters, which limited balance during fast walking or turning. Gen 4 adopts a sneaker-style foot with an expanded contact area of nearly 200 square centimeters, paired with industrial rubber soles boasting a friction coefficient of 0.8, almost 30% higher than before. As a result, Optimus can now walk at 5 km per hour while maintaining balance a speed nearly equal to the average human walking pace of 5.4 km per hour. This brings the robot far closer to real-world usability, rather than being confined to laboratory conditions. Altogether, these improvements carry critical implications. Aesthetically, Optimus Gen 4 presents a refined, high-tech look more akin to a premium consumer device than a rough research prototype. In terms of durability, joint lifespan has increased two to threefold, from around 5,000 operational hours to as much as 15,000 under industrial conditions. Functionally, the robot now achieves motion precision under 2 millimeters, making it suitable not just for factories, but also for offices, healthcare, and household tasks. 
In terms of reliability, the sealed design reduces breakdown risk and lowers maintenance costs by 30 to 40 percent, a decisive factor if Tesla aims to mass produce millions of Optimus units in the coming decade. These figures show that Tesla's focus on joint redesign is not merely about aesthetics, but directly enhances reliability, efficiency, and commercial viability for Optimus Gen 4. This is the evolution that transforms the robot from a technical prototype into a real-world product deployable on a global scale, while at the same time reinforcing Elon Musk's vision of a future where humanoid robots serve as a foundational element in both the economy and daily life. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. How does the new Gen 4 joint design enhance the robot's performance and lifespan? One of the most significant changes between the earlier white prototype of Optimus and Optimus Gen 4 lies in the materials and overall structural design. The older version mainly used exposed metal framing, giving the robot a rigid appearance and making it more prone to damage upon impact. In addition, the thick and heavy metal plates considerably increased the overall weight. By contrast, Optimus Gen 4 adopts an advanced composite shell or an aluminum magnesium alloy, which Tesla has extensively researched in the EV sector to achieve an optimal strength to weight ratio. This material is 15 to 20% lighter than conventional steel while being 1.5 times stronger, allowing the robot's weight to drop from around 65 kilograms to under 55 kilograms. This nearly 10 kilogram reduction not only improves energy efficiency, but also makes Optimus more agile, reducing battery consumption and enabling it to perform more tasks without frequent recharging. The change in materials also brings notable improvements in structural durability and load resistance. In the older white prototype, joints in the frame were easily deformed when the robot experienced impacts or unexpected loads, limiting its application in factory environments where collisions are common. Gen 4, with its composite design combined with a scratch-resistant coating, can withstand forces 1.5 to 2 times greater than before. This significantly extends structural lifespan and minimizes the need for part replacement, thereby reducing both mass production and maintenance costs for customers. Tesla is not just optimizing appearance but is pursuing a philosophy of longevity. The robot must be able to operate continuously for many years in harsh conditions without requiring major replacements. Another crucial factor is the center of gravity and dynamic balance. The earlier white version often struggled with stability when moving quickly or making sharp turns due to suboptimal weight distribution. Its center of gravity was positioned slightly too high, while the legs were not agile enough to compensate in time. This limited its use on uneven terrain or inclined surfaces. Gen 4 addresses this problem by redesigning the internal layout, placing heavy battery packs and processors closer to the hips and legs, thereby lowering the center of gravity. At the same time, its new balance control system, developed on the same AI platform Tesla uses for self-driving cars, can predict and adjust forces on each leg within milliseconds. As a result, the robot can now walk on surfaces inclined at 10 to 15 degrees without falling, something nearly impossible for the older version. This breakthrough greatly expands Optimus's potential to work in multi-level warehouses, construction sites, or even domestic environments with uneven ground. Equally important is the aspect of appearance and social acceptance, a decisive factor in widespread public adoption. The white prototype with its exposed metal skeleton often gave the impression of a machine skeleton, which could feel alien or even intimidating to people interacting with it. By contrast, Genesis 4 features rounded contours, a more human-like body shape and feet designed to resemble shoes. These improvements go beyond aesthetics and carry strategic significance. A robot that looks approachable and friendly is far more likely to be welcomed into homes, offices, or hospitals. Studies in human-robot interaction have shown that a human-like appearance and approachable design can increase social acceptance by up to 40% compared to rigid mechanical designs. Tesla appears to have grasped this well, shaping Gen 4 not merely as a labor machine but as an intelligent assistant. Beyond aesthetics, maintenance and durability have also improved dramatically. In the older white version, joints and mechanical parts were often exposed, making them vulnerable to dust and moisture, which accelerated wear. The average lifespan of these components was only about two to three years under continuous use, resulting in high maintenance costs. Gen 4 overcomes this with sealed joints, anti-wear coatings, and high-strength materials, extending joint lifespan by two to three times, equivalent to five to seven years of reliable operation. Tesla also claims that average maintenance costs could be reduced by 30 to 40 percent compared to the previous generation.
When scaled to thousands of robots deployed in factories, these savings become highly significant and provide a clear competitive advantage over rivals such as Figure 02 and Agility Robotics. Energy efficiency and battery performance are among the most critical highlights of Optimus Gen 4. The earlier white prototype, due to its heavy design and non-optimized systems, consumed high amounts of energy, operating only about three to four hours before requiring a recharge. This fell short of the real-world demands of factory work, where shifts last a minimum of six to eight hours. Gen 4, with its reduced overall weight and improved dynamics, has extended operational time to six to eight hours using the same battery capacity. This means the robot can now work an entire shift without interruptions for charging, maximizing labor efficiency, and reducing the total number of robots needed for rotation. A single Gen 4 unit can effectively perform the work of 1.5 older robots, allowing Tesla to cut production costs and ease the strain on charging infrastructure in industrial settings. Not only has runtime improved, but Gen 4's battery and power management system is also equipped with artificial intelligence to allocate energy more intelligently. For instance, when the robot is idle, the system automatically reduces power to unnecessary motors, maintaining only essential supply to sensors and processors. This mechanism further cuts average consumption by 10 to 15 percent compared to the previous model. Additionally, Tesla can leverage its 4680 battery technology or even move toward solid-state batteries in the future to increase energy density. This long-term strategy ensures that Optimus will be capable of sustaining full-day operations in production environments without disrupting workflow. Bringing all these elements together, the differences in Gen 4 extend far beyond technical refinements. They reflect a clear strategic direction. Lightweight yet durable materials, optimized structural layout, lowered center of gravity, approachable design, extended durability, and enhanced battery performance all combine to create a machine far more practical than its predecessor. Tesla has demonstrated that it's not merely building a prototype for demonstration, but is moving toward a truly commercial product. The fusion of technical excellence and social adaptability positions Optimus Gen 4 as a new benchmark in humanoid robotics, paving the way for widespread deployment in both industrial and consumer sectors. In the early prototype, Optimus mainly relied on cameras and a few basic sensors similar to what Tesla initially tested on its self-driving cars. This setup allowed the robot to recognize objects at a basic level, but its accuracy in distinguishing small items, human gestures, or complex environments was still limited. For example, it could tell the difference between a large box and a wall, but struggled with thin, fragile objects or when people communicated through hand signals. Gen 4 represents a major leap forward, thanks to the integration of high-resolution cameras, force sensors in both hands and feet, along with short-range radar. These upgrades enable Optimus to achieve perception capabilities on par with, or even beyond, advanced industrial robots. Estimates suggest its object recognition and positioning accuracy has risen to around 98%, compared to below 90% in the earlier prototype. More importantly, Optimus Gen 4 can detect and respond to human movements within 50 to 100 milliseconds approaching the reflex speed of a real person. The significance of this upgrade goes far beyond improved collision avoidance or more precise gripping. It paves the way for Optimus to operate safely in shared spaces with humans without posing risks. This is a crucial factor for Tesla to commercialize Optimus in fields such as healthcare, customer service, or home assistance, where safety and user friendliness are absolute priorities. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.